Hi everybody, this is Nika Blue and I am coming at you today to do give you an update on my square foot garden. And uh, it's been a while since you've seen it last, so I figured I'd show you what's been coming up. And if you remember, there's my bad dog, Mojo. But turn around here. And as you can see, this is my square foot garden. It is huge. Okay. So, what I have here um, are two tomato plants, and these are cherry tomatoes. I'm not sure what kind because I lost the tags when I had, I had to move them. Um, they were close to the fence, but my dogs were tagging it, and it was killing my tomato plants, so I had to move them and drag them over, but somewhere in the move I lost the tags to these, so I'm not exactly sure what kind of tomato plants are they, or they are. Um, I think one is a husky cherry, and I think the other one's just like a sweet cherry or something. I'm not sure. Um, but as you can see, they've got lots of flowers on them, and I have a few, couple little tomatoes on them, and I just pruned these back because this plant was seriously getting out of control. It's already coming out of the top of this cage, so I have no idea what I'm going to do if it gets any bigger. Um, since I can't find any more tomato cages, everywhere seems to be sold out right now. But, let's see if I can zoom in here and show you a couple little tomatoes that I have see here. There's one. And oh, there's the other one. So that's two on this plant and I've got a couple over here on this cherry plant right there. And like I said, lots of flowers. That will hopefully turn into tomatoes. Hopefully. These ones I think are already starting to turn into little tomatoes. So that'll be good. And in my box, I have in this first square, uh, I'm move this tomato branch out of the way. Uh, these are marigolds, and I actually got these for free. My boyfriend's mom had uh, picked these up at the university at, uh, or I'm sorry, at I think Metro Paladin Community College, because they were giving them away. Um, and when she got these, even when she brought them over these things, I thought they were dead. <laughs> um, so I planted them in here without much hope of them actually coming back, but they actually did manage to come back. I only lost one plant, and I think that one really, it was just too far gone. But uh, when I first got these, I mean, these leaves and everything were just brown and withered, and all the flower, all the flower heads were dead. Um, but it came back, so that's pretty good. And of course I planted the marigolds here because they're supposed to be good for tomatoes and cucumbers. And in the back of the square, I have cucumber plants, and these ones are the Market More cucumbers, and they're coming up pretty well. Well, I'm going to have to prune that one. I'm going to have to cut that one off. Um, but yeah, they're doing well, and I planted these uh, last month, um, so for a month I guess they're doing okay. I mean, I don't really know. I've only ever planted from transplants before, and I planted these ones from seed, so I guess these ones are doing okay. And in this forward square here, I have um, Blue Lake Bush Beans, and there's like six of them in here. And they seem, and I planted these from seeds also, and they seem to be doing all right. So hopefully we'll have some beans come off of those soon. And in the back here, um, this is Sugar Baby Watermelons, and these are the little watermelons that are like personal size. So I've got two plants coming up in this square. And I know you're only supposed to have like one per square, but I kind of wanted to let it get big enough to see which one was going to do the best and before I decide to thin it out. And as you can see in this next square, I've got like three more sugar baby watermelons coming up. And also I've got this little plant right here. I have absolutely no idea what that is. Um, we have a lot of Japanese maples back here. and. A lot of the seeds fell into this box that I've been pruning it back, but this one didn't grow up like a, grow into that little seedling from the Japanese maple, so I just figured I'd leave it in there and see what it is. Once it gets bigger, we'll see. Could be a weed. I don't know. And this is a pepper plant. This is a jalapeno pepper plant. And if you look right next to it, right there, that is a little jalapeno pepper plant that I planted from seed. And I planted it before I actually looked at the packet. And the packet says that really you have to transplant these because they require such a long, hot growing season. 
that um, to plant it from seed you probably won't get any peppers so but I left it in there and I just decided to go buy some transplants and so I got one pepper plant here and this one hasn't grown too much from the last time I got it and I can only assume that that's due to the weather just it just really hasn't gotten all that hot here um, we've had actually quite a bit of rain so um, I'm thinking that once it starts to heat up a little bit more then that plant should take off um, because last year my transplant, my jalapeno pepper transplants were huge, um, but we had a really hot summer last year, so I don't know. Uh, this one is a bell pepper plant, and this is the uh, better bell um, transplant. Bought it, and as you can see right next to it, there's another one that uh, I planted from seed, because once again, I did not look at the packet. Um, that's set to transplant. And as you can see, it's got a few flowers on it, so hopefully I'll have some bell peppers starting to come in soon. And in back of that, these are pickling cucumbers. So hopefully, um, like I said, I'm trying I'm to try my hand at pickling this year, and we'll see how that turns out. In this four square here, zoom out here. Uh, this was the carrots and the beets, and as you can see, my carrots are doing very well. All the carrots that I planted came in on this box. Most of them came in over in this box. Now my beets were a different story. As you can see, I planted like nine beets, I think, in this box, in this square, and only one came up. So I've replanted, I replanted some more today, so and I planted more seeds per little divot that I made so hopefully those will start to come up and in this one only three came up so I had to replant that one too uh... here's more bush beans and those are doing well uh... back here is honeydew and as you can see I only had like one little thingy come up so I had to replant that today and this is more um... honeydew and only one plant came up, so uh, I replanted in there also. These are radishes. Now, in my last video, I'd already planted the radishes. Um, I've already harvested my first set of radishes, and they were absolutely delicious. Like, I didn't realize that radishes would taste that good until I had some from the chow hall the other day, and they were disgusting. So I, had, I decided to replant, and maybe it's too late in the year to plant those, but we'll see if they come up. And my onions are doing excellent. They still have a while to go though. Here are more marigolds and these are ones that I planted from seed. So we'll see how those do. And here are my other two tomato plants. Now these ones aren't doing as well as the ones that are in my planters and I planted them all at the same time. Like this one's barely grown at all. Although it does have fruit. And then this one is okay. It's growing, just no flowers. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know what it'll do. Um, I pruned it back today to try to stimulated into making some more flowers and there are a couple here but not many um, this one has some fruit on it a little bit here and a little bit here just hasn't really gotten any bigger and then like I said um, sorry forgive me that's my dog barking at the stupid neighbor's chihuahua because apparently he's got to uh, 